Hey everyone, welcome to Barter Hordes and welcome to the announcement for the BookTube Prize semi-finalists. Before we get to the results, I just want to go over very quickly how the round was set up and how we're moving on into the next round. In the quarterfinals, we had 24 books split among four groups, so six books in each of the four groups. Each of those four groups had seven judges, so 28 judges in all, and the judges read the six books in their group only and ranked them one being the best to six being the worst, and they weren't allowed to give any of them ties, which can be really difficult the further we get into the competition, the better the books are and the harder it is to distinguish among who's the best and who's not the best. They're all good at this point. Um, and then the top three from each group advance into the semifinals. So we're gonna be moving 12 books into the semifinals today. Um, the semifinals will take place they officially start June 1st, although the judges will know later today what books they're reading, and some of them will probably get started early, but it's officially June 1st to July 25th, so roughly eight or nine weeks um, for them to read the six books in their group. And then the same format will take place at the end of July. Uh, the top three books in each of these two sections will be our six finalists, and they'll be in the final round in August and September, and then we'll announce the winner at the BookTube Prize Meetup. Um, we're gonna have the first weekend in October here in Raleigh-Durham. And I'll give you more details on that as they become firmly fixed. Um, so that's, that's the format. Let's go through the groups one by one, and you'll see which books are advancing. And then after I've taken you through the four groups, I'll show you uh, how the 12 books have been split into the two groups for the semifinals, and then we'll be ready to go. I've been waiting for this results day for two months, and I'll be ready for the semifinals results days starting tomorrow. I'm anxious to keep going. All right, let's get into the results from each group. Okay, let's go through the four groups in the quarterfinals and look at which books advance and which books get eliminated. And then at the end, I'll show you which books are in which group for the semifinals. So starting with group A, the six books that we had beginning in this group were The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay, Red Clocks by Lenny Zumas, They're There by Tommy Orange, Happiness by Aminata Forna, and Bitter Orange by Claire Fuller. All right, the three books moving on into the semifinals from Group A are The Silence of the Girls, They're There, and Happiness, which means The Great Believers, Red Clocks, and Bitter Orange are eliminated in the quarterfinals. So those are the results from Group A. In Group B, we started with uh, Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrid um, Contreras Rojas, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogene Hermes Gower, The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin, Circe by Madeline Miller, A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza, and A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne. And the three books Advancing out of Group B into the semifinals are Fruit of the Drunken Tree, A Place for Us, and A Ladder to the Sky, which means The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock, The Immortalists, and Circe are all eliminated in the quarterfinals. Moving on to Group C. The six books we began with were Washington Black by Essie Adujan, Freshwater by Akweki Amezi, Transcription by Kate Atkinson, Fire Sermon by Jamie Quattro, 
An American Marriage by Tayari Jones, and Warlight by Michael Ondaatje. And the three books advancing to the semifinals are Washington Black, Freshwater, and American Marriage. That means Transcription, Fire Sermon, and Warlight are all eliminated in the quarterfinals. And finally, Group D, the six books we began with in the quarterfinals were Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, The Incendiaries by R. O. Kwan, The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, The Book of M by Peng Shepard, and West by Karis Davis. And the three books from Group D moving into the semifinals are Where the Crawdads Sing, The Great Alone, and West, which means that The Incendiaries, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, and The Book of M are eliminated in the quarterfinals. Okay, so that leaves us 12 books in the semifinals, and here are the stacks of the books in the two groups. That's a pretty picture. Let's look at the two groups in a little bit more detail, and these books are not listed in order in any specific way. The, the order in the two groups is randomized uh, by the computer. It has nothing to do with previous rankings or anything. Okay, Group A is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, Happiness by Amanata Forna, An American Marriage by Tayari Jones, A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza, there, There by Tommy Orange, and Freshwater by Ekweki Emeze. And in Group B, we have Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrid Rojas Contreras, uh, Washington Black by Essie Adujan, The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, West by Karis Davis, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, and A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne. Now, if you look at those two groups and you think both of them are stacked with a lot of good books, that's usually the way it's supposed to work. By the time you get down to the final 12, you should have some really powerhouse titles left that are squaring off in the semifinals, vying for those final six places in the finals. Okay, there you have the results and the 12 books that are moving on into the semifinals. Judges, feel free now to post your reaction videos to your reading assignment for the quarterfinals. Just please use the hashtag BooktubePrize so the rest of us can find those videos quickly and easily. And um, please leave your comments below if you saw any surprises. I'm sure some of these results will surprise some people. Um, comment below or in your own videos and I look forward to seeing all your videos in the coming days and weeks as we get into the semifinals. Uh, one last thing I forgot to mention, there are 13 judges for each group in the semifinals. So we're using a lot of judges, which is great. The more judges we have, the more consensus I think the results turn out to be. We eliminate some of the quirkiness that goes along with smaller judge panels. Uh, so everybody, I hope you have a great week ahead and I look forward to the semifinal round starting June 1st. I'll be out of town next week for Book Expo America in New York City, um, but I may be able to post something from the road. Uh, if not, I'll see you when I get back in town um, next weekend. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.